Hello and welcome to Flux 6. In this screencast we're going to look at creating a responsive website using Skeleton. Let's create a new project. And we'll open up the index. The first thing we need to do is link the Skeleton library. We can see that it isn't linked because we can see normal in the pop-up. If we try to select skeleton, Flux will tell us that it's not linked. So we'll show libraries and install it from this pop-up. We can see the skeleton library has been linked. The style sheet is shown in the styles navigator. Let's get this out of the way by collapsing it. Now, the first thing we need to do is add a container. In this example, we will add an empty container. Simply double click it. We now have a container, so we can start adding responsive rows. Here's an empty row. This is a row with three columns in it. We're going to insert that one. So just simply double click it. We will now insert another row. First, however, we need to select the container again. The easiest way to do this is to simply click and hold on the page, and Flux will show you a list of all the elements underneath the mouse pointer. In this case, we want the container, and we will add a second row. So we can easily see what's going on, I'm going to colour in these columns. When we preview the page, we can see that it appears exactly how we would expect it to. However, if we were to view this page on a mobile phone that has a much smaller screen, it'll look a lot different. This is because the skeleton responsive framework can reposition the elements according to the screen size. Flux can help preview this. Choose responsive preview in the window menu. We can see rather than the columns being side by side, they've been stacked. So the content is still perfectly readable on a mobile phone. We can do advanced work too. For example, we can delete this column and then we can offset this column to where it used to be or anywhere else. We can do this from the layout button and the responsive section in there. We can increase the offset or we can decrease it. There. As we can see that column is now centered. But the position will remain the same on a mobile phone because there isn't space to center it or position the columns like there is on a desktop computer. Thanks for watching.